Hi friends, what's this TTK bootstrap window? In this, we have a date entry here. You can see, I can click this, see the, take the calendar out and I can select any date, whatever I want. I can select this date as 15. So here you can see while picking up the date, you will see here that this first day of the week is set it to Wednesday. We can change it by default. It will come Monday and we, we have changed it also. And also the date format, you have set it is a year, month and date. That also we can change it and what by default it, the date should be selected. That also we can set it. We'll learn all about that. Plus let before that, let's select one date and click of this button watch this label at the right click on this button whatever I selected the date is selected that I am taking it out and displaying on a label the same thing we can do it take the data from the user and use it in our some other process if you want to create a date do so, uh, develop some uh, script on that so we can utilize that and all this will learn we'll start from here First, we are importing our TTK bootstrap. So here in the first, uh, this is 13th uh, uh, tutorial on this series. And the first one we have discussed about how we have to install it, what are the styles you can apply and how we'll operate with our widgets. So then next line, we are uh, importing the constants here because some color names constants will be using. That's why we are importing that. And the third line, this is where we are importing our date library because certain start date or certain in a date form a date object will be using so for that we are use that and then the window and here the width and height of our window so to this we will add our uh, the our date entry or we'll say anything de e means date entry we are saying ttk dot date entry now let's just without any pa further parameters by default what it is will give display it so let's place it on a grid so you can say row equal to one column equal to one so slide pad x not flushing with the left edge five and pad y equal to again five that's all with this we'll let's run this and see how this looks here it is so it has it is showing the date for us and by default all the you can see it starts with Sunday the weekdays first weekday is Sunday and the date is picked up and we are you can see all other default uh, uh, parameters it has taken. Okay, we'll first change the date format. What format we are receiving? If you have, you have seen it is the day, month and thing. Let's first get it the year, month and date format. So for that we'll write the parameter date format equal to now I am giving the format what I am going to use y y means four digit year then again percentage m means month in two digit 0 1 0 2 like that it will come and then I am giving the date so for that now you may ask me where, where from I'll get this well this format here is the list is there and the link I leave it in the description there it is there all and it is across the Python platform all these are uh, standard formats you can weekday month in character also Jan Feb like that you can get everything in the format so date format now one more thing is first weekday which day it should start we have seen it in Sunday but let's make it Wednesday so 0 is Monday, 1 is uh, uh, our Tuesday, then 2 is Wednesday. So let me just save this and run once. We'll see how it comes. Here it is. So the it is year, month and date. Now I am going for 22nd. You can see the year, month, date. Now let me just browse to some other month. I am in the sept say September 17th. So it is year, then month then the date and you can just see the here all the first day of the week is Wednesday because here we are giving it two as our weekday now let me just close it now we'll go for a what the default date should be you can see suppose I am not giving anything default date is always let me just close this remove all and now let me open it default date is always the current date what is your date current so it, it will if it is running in your system your system default date it will take i can set it to a some other date let's close this close this come here now before that let me create a date object so what i will do i have imported at line number three the date library so for using that i am just giving a variable name dt2 
dt2 is equal to date now here i am writing in a writing in a year first 2024 let's say year is 24 month is 12 and date is 30 so in this format i am creating a date this is a this i will use it as start date so i am creating date object you can say because it is a date and time object so date and time object now this i will connect it here what i will say is start date start date equal to dt2 i can directly write it here also let it's a better you, you write it in this fashion so it is now this is the format weekday let's bring the weekday to monday again zero so let's run this and see here you see now in this it is it is by default it is showing 1230 so i can say this is here here you can see it's december 24 and 30th it is by default it is showing i can change it to any value i can browse to the month i can pick up some other date and show it here so this is how the suppose my date, uh, dates are coming from the database or from a excel file or from somewhere else then i can collect the data the date create a date object in this format and assign it to start date we we'll learn how we'll read the date and the selected user selected date so for that i'm just giving a slightly width is more here 320 okay now let's place a button on a click of the button will display the selected date on a label so for that let me place the button first b1 equal to ttk dot button now here my underscore w parent window text initially on uh, sorry it is on the bottom so i am writing sort date what user has selected then i am giving a command here so what will happen when the button is clicked what i am saying is run this function my upd my update so this function i have not yet written i will write it here now let me just place it on a grid b1 dot grid now where it is row equal to 1 now column equal to 2 so this here i have placed it now to the right of it i will place a label so this is where i will be displaying the date what the user has selected l1 equal to ttk dot label now parent window my underscore w now the text initially this what text will be this text will replace it with the selected date so here it is now it will be i will place it on this is column is 2 so it will go to column 3 because right of my present button so l1 dot grid row equal to 1 now column i am giving 3 because column 1 is my uh, date entry column 2 is button column 3 i can give slight padex also it's better let it not plus with the padex equal to 5 here also i will give little gap so it is not plus with the edges so pad x equal to 5 fine so this is all but the key is the function so here i will write the function here so once the button is clicked this function should operate uh, my i am nothing to receive so inside that i will write a one liner you know that this l1 is the label so i can configure any parameter of l1 so i will say l1 dot configure now when i am configuring what parameter i will configure let me just configure the text parameter of it equal to how and now here the text i will configure to what the user has selected now what is how i will get that value de dot entry dot get now de is my date entry here i have de declared and this this entry is given by the library to me so i can get the data get data so get it i will get the data from here now let me save this sorry why so much space now let's just run this and see why how this works here it is now you can see the label whatever l1 label is there it just giving me the default date uh, that one and now i am picking up a suppose i am selecting 14th now so date see here this is what it is whatever i have selected here it has come up so i can use it in my other process so i can browse to any month month then 16 then so date so that whatever date i have selected it will be shown in the label 
now let us apply all our bootstrap styles to this uh, date entry so we can see what are the different colors and all so here for that let's close this we'll remove all these functionalities not required let me select up to this delete now i'll give more width because around uh, roughly around eight uh, different styles we have to display so we'll display it in the two columns because this width is more so i'm giving a 700 and uh, height i am maintaining okay that much is not required 200 is enough now this width i am maintaining now this is also no more required because we are not going to uh, put any assigned any date here rest of the thing if you okay here i must remove it otherwise it will generate error for me okay first week day by default it is zero now let me just select cr what is the cr i am selling column value and row value zero comma zero so what happened column is zero row is zero c is zero r is zero so for that i am saying and inside that i will be looping so for my style if you are following us all our wizards for every wizard we have done this exercise so see to see the how the boot styles are uh, reflected on the different different wizards around eight div, uh, styles are there here is the list the, all these styles will apply one by one by using boot style parameter so for my style in my style is the variable i am taking in my underscore w this is my window it's style then colors so i get a list so each loop my style will take one one value out of this eight so here it is now if you want you can keep the format this is by default it is so no no need now here what i have i will say boot style boot style is the parameter which i will i am assigning it to my style now my style will take one one value from the this loop of eight so next loop one style next loop another style like that so we can compare it and we can display all so here let me just come the grid grid is no more fixed grid now it has to be increased so i am saying row is r column is c so pad x that much is i will not give let me just and pad y okay let me let us put 20 so here it is but what i have to do is i must increase the c now first loop row will be zero and column will be zero now next loop c equal to c plus one i am doing because next loop it should be the column will increment so the next uh, uh, date entry will be right of it next one will be again right of it but problem is will because the width is more so we may exhaust all our rows so what you will do let's break it into two rows so what i am doing if c if column is four means four widgets are placed in a row then you change the c and r, r value S column again bring back to zero and row value instead of zero make it one that's all so this is what is uh, our uh, because we want to display it in two rows so we, this is what is required column increment by one now once it is reaches four then make it zero so start from the left and ship the row to the next that's what it this does now i have saved it let's run this and see here it is it is in two rows now you can see here i can pick up anything you can this is the purpose here is to only to see how the styles how the styles are applied to all these date wizards so all the one two oh, four four eights are there in two rows so that here because of this if condition it goes to the second row and these are the colors we can apply to it so this is a uh, one of if you want to plainly take the date selected to your application or somewhere in your script you want to just a simple a user has to select it then you can use this but the original date entry has lot of extra features like you can disable certain dates say you don't want to you have to select any date of the next month suppose the reservation is not available they use certain dates you want to disable all those are more flexible there i don't know what why this ttk with this particular date entry doesn't have all those features maybe something i may be missing but i am not able to disable certain part of the dates and all which is highly recommended you can watch that our video on the date entry which is original our uh, in our kinter so that is more flexible but this looks better this appearance is much much better and that is what the bootstrap is famous for that's all friends so i will request you please 
share and subscribe and pray to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified with your uh, whenever we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and this is after 12 i think 13 so few more wizards also we are more wizards we are going to use it in this and that will be a revision also and if you have any doubts suggestion questions put it in the comment section below so accordingly we'll work and modify it and please share this with your friends and thank you for watching